What's going on you guys, this is MexicanDI, another Dell PowerEdge T310, gonna be a two down. I'll move the side cover panel. First all I'll do is I'm gonna use a drill. There are screws out where the power plate, power supply is. And we have to use uh, Torx T10. And there are four screws from the power supply you have to remove. And so here's the plate. I'm going to remove the front cover basil. And it does have a key in the back. It does have two keys inside. This is for the lock of uh, the front and the side cover panel. I'll remove the three and a half inch uh, hard drive. You just have to use a Phillips head screwdriver. It's got two screws on each side. Here's the fan shroud. Comes out. comes out We've got an optical drive here I'm gonna disconnect the stadium power cable and just this little tab right here press it up I'm going to remove the SATA cables. There's a rear system fan I'm going to disconnect. So you press it on right here, your finger, like this, and it should lift up.
We'll remove the PCI brackets. So when you disconnect the four pin and 24 pin, don't forget the click on the, you're gonna, it's a little secure clip, you press on it before you remove it. Same with the four pin. And the power supply should slide to the left. So 375 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and move the heatsink CPU cooler. It looks like I can't use the drill. It's too. I'm gonna remove the RAM. You guys can't see. I thought I have to just lift up the computer. I'm gonna remove the CPU. I'm gonna try to remove the motherboard. So this looks like the front panel here in the corner. I'm gonna start off from the bottom and start removing the screws.
So here's the screws here. Let me see one. Let me count how many you get. Total three, six, seven. So a total of uh, eight screws do you have to remove from the motherboard before you pull the motherboard out? So generally, you're gonna take your finger like this, and you're gonna pull it. I'm gonna show you guys the front and how to remove the last part. Try to move it the other side. Trying to zoom out the camera. So it's hold by one screw, Phillips head, and I just have to remove that. And it comes out. See you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.